Land Rover's always been an iconic brand of vehicles designed to operate in tough conditions. Now the company's going farther afield to make them. On Friday, it opened its first assembly plant in India, though the components for the traditionally British-made cars will still be manufactured at a plant in Liverpool. India-based Tata Motors had bought Jaguar Land Rover from Ford three years ago. It's had trouble getting enough engines from Ford in the time since. Now its new plant will help expand its capacity. And with the Tata chairman lighting a lamp for luck as the facility gears up, company chief executive Carl Peter Forster says setting it up in Pune has benefits. Clearly, India can be a very attractive sourcing base, an opportunity to source more and more high-quality yet lower-cost components, not only for Indian operations, but also for overseas operations. But even though Forster had his eye on the export market, there's no denying India's own car boom will mean many of the freelanders put together in the Pune facility will remain in the country. Shapur Kotwal, deputy editor of Auto Car magazine, says demand for premium cars in India looks to stay strong for the next five years at least, with those who can afford them eagerly snapping up Jaguars and Land Rovers. It's natural that we want to have the best. You know, we have been starved of good cars. Jaguar Land Rover's hoping its new plant will help it better compete in the luxury car market against rival brands like BMW, Daimler and Audi. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.